Hello folks, Abfielder here with the next in my Everything Minecraft series and today we're going to start looking at farming crops manually and then we'll look at the first crop which is going to be wheat as well and then the subsequent videos in this series will focus on the other crops that you can farm. So let's get started with farmland then. How do you start farming? Well, you're going to need some materials. Now you can see I've got a couple of sticks here. We need a hoe, a bucket and some seeds. Well, let's talk about the things you need to create. Let's talk about the hoe. You need a couple of sticks and then the materials you use just depends what you've got. But you can use wooden planks to create a wooden hoe. You can use cobblestone. You can use iron, gold and netherite. The difference is mainly down to uh, how long it will last. A wooden hoe will last like about 10 blocks before it breaks. So if you can use iron as a minimum, I recommend it. To create a bucket, you'll need three more iron ingots. And this is so you can put a water source in there. Crops grow faster on hydrated farmland. Also, if you've got some torches as well, that can be handy because it'll allow the crops to grow at night. Wheat will only grow when the light level is above nine. So you've got your hoe, you've got your water bucket, you've probably got a shovel at this point, which I do not have. And then all you need, need to do is break a block in the middle there. And I'm just going to go into survival mode now. Place in your water source and grab your, your hoe and then you can right click out. Now from a water source, you can come out four blocks. If I just create a fifth one here. We'll come back in a minute and look what happens to that. So we've got one, two, three, four, and we can do one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, like that. And then we can just go around and fill that all in. I'm going to skip ahead at this point and we'll come back to this fully converted farmland. So we're back. We've done our farmland. We've got the four blocks out in every direction. Nothing's happened to this one yet, but I assure you it will. But this makes it easier to see. The next thing we need is some wheat seeds. So where can you find wheat? Well, wheat is actually really, really easy. You can just break the, the grass here and every so often a piece will drop some seeds. Now you can use these wheat seeds to lead chickens around and when we grow the wheat actually we can also use the uh, the wheat to feed farm animals and get meat. Uh, the other places you can find wheat I'm handily located next to this village and there are this is wheat here and this is wheat here. If we break it in this early stage we will get wheat seeds we won't get any wheat. We'll come back to the growth stages in a moment. You can also find them in savannah village chests, the savannah being a biome. And if you're in a village like this and there's a fisherman, you may find them in a fisherman's chest as well. Now we've got our seeds. You need to plant them up. So you simply right click and just plant your seeds. Then we need these things to grow. Now, like I say, I recommend you put some light around here and that will help them grow at night. It takes around about 20 minutes on average for it to grow fully. That's 20 minutes of you being around and it having the right light levels as well. What I'm going to do here is speed this up so we can have a look at the game stage at the uh, the growth stages. So if I do game rule, random tick speed, it's set to three by default. If I set that to 1000, you can see it growing up. There we go. And we're getting very close to it being fully grown. I think that's the fully grown stage there. You can see just subtle differences in the growth stage here. Obviously, it takes a lot longer if you haven't done that. And look, that farmland there has disappeared. That's because it wasn't hydrated. When it's not hydrated, you can plant a crop. Now, if I just break this, we're going to get wheat and we're going to get some seeds. We got two seeds back from that one and we got our wheat. Now, as I said, wheat can be used to feed animals like cows, for example. You can also, when you have three pieces of wheat, go over to our crafting table here and craft bread. Now, if I just change that game rule back to three, uh, sorry, game rule random tick speed three, and then get my hoe, plant in some seeds here. Now, here we go. So that will actually work, but it's not hydrated. Now, watch what happens when I set this back to 100. Nothing happens. Let me set it to 1000. There we go. And that's a really bad example because it grew quite quickly. But you see how this has all grown up? There we go, except that one piece, that piece still isn't grown. It was only marginally slower. There we go. It's finally gone. It was the last one to go. So that did prove it out just about. OK, that's how you manually farm wheat then, folks. If you want to design for an automatic bread farm, I can put a link to that down in the description below. If you want to farm for automatic wheat and seeds, which is a slightly different design, I've also done one of those. I'll put that in the link down below as well. Folks, I hope you're looking forward to the rest of the videos in this series. Consider giving the video a like and also consider subscribing to the channel. If you're looking for a free to play on survival server, I've got just the thing for you. Come join my Discord. 
But anyway, folks, I'm Appfielder. That's all I have time for. Goodbye.